This is a man's world. Hi there, Terence McGuana here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to look at In the Company of Men from 1997. Office co-workers Chad and Howard are angry and frustrated with women in general and decide to take their frustrations out on Christine, a deaf mute typist. The two men scheme to romance her simultaneously and then break up with her at the same time. I first saw this film in the late 1990s when I rented it out at the video store and it is a really tough watch. I just watched it again very recently and it still has that power to really, really make you feel uncomfortable. The, these two characters, uh, especially uh, Aaron Eckhart's character Chad, he has got to be one of the most despicable characters in any film, honestly. The, the, way that, um, the way that he behaves in this movie is just absolutely abhorrent. And it's funny that this film actually gets uh, categorised as a black comedy. In both times that I've seen this film, I've, I, I've never laughed once, right? There is nothing in this film that could be considered humorous. I have worked in offices and call centres many times and I have I have noticed behaviour such as this. I have noticed behaviour when guys get together, right? And I'm not saying all guys, right? Most men that I've met in my life have been absolute gentlemen. When I watch a film such as this where it talks about the, the subject matter of misogyny, it makes me check myself. It makes me think about my behaviour. It makes me think: Do I do I feel the same way as these characters? If you know, if a, if a woman dumps me or lets me down, do I want to take revenge on women in general? Do I generalize every person? Yeah, that, that's what I really enjoy about this film. In the company of men, is it really is food for thought? Uh, I have seen men together behave like absolute pigs. Right, and that's one of the things that I fear being in the company of men, right, is being drawn into that. It is, it's, it's a really compelling story. The, 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 it's not a big budget Hollywood production. It is a low budget independent film. And Aaron Eckhart's character in it, Chad, he is absolutely horrendous. What, what, a, what a calculating, uh, slimy character he is. Right, the way that he manipulates this other character, Howard, into playing this, playing out this scheme. I mean, Howard, he is a very sort of easily led, sort of weak character. The way that they go after Christine, this this person with who's a, a deaf woman, the uh, the the way that they talk about her behind her back is just, oh, it's just, it's just horrible. It's just absolutely horrible. This film will have you. Uh, throwing your remote control at the screen it is really that horrible. I used to hang around with this guy and we'd walk down the street together. We'd be talking about music or films and all he would do when he was walking down the street is do this thing where he sees a woman go past and he's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, check her out. And he would expect me to do the same thing. He would expect me to do that kind of, oh, that whole double take of checking out some woman's butt or stuff like that. And I would never, I would never ever uh, do that. I would never ever do that. And it just, it just horrified me. I just hated that behaviour. And, and I don't think, I mean, what is, the, what is the goal here? Is she going to feel great that you're checking out her legs or her butt or stuff like that? Are, are you impressing me? You're not impressing me in the slightest and you're not impressing her, right? So uh, when I watch this film, I think about those times. These people don't have mental health problems. Right? They've learned this. They've learned how to behave this way. You know, and that, that's, that's the thing about uh, men constantly being around men all the time. Right? We're like a pack of dogs. We don't have that sense. We don't have that kind of sensibility, that sensitivity that we, we learn from females. We need to have more female role models. We need to have more female leaders. This character, Christine, she is all alone in this film. Right, she is in the company of men, and these people are are around her like vultures. They're around her like vultures, and they um, they have purposefully set out to break this woman's heart to really destroy her, and it, for for no reason. She's not done anything to anyone except being a woman. And when and as you watch it unfold, uh, you get to understand a little bit more 
about this Chad character that not only is he a misogynist, but he's also an, an, an intense bully, he's an intense misanthrope, right? He hates everybody. There is this particular scene in it where he humiliates this member of staff, right? A man of colour, no less, right? Where he, he talks about having the cojones, so to speak. He doesn't use that term, but he talks about having the cojones to be a great manager and something like that. And he asks him, well, he pretty much demands him to show him his genitalia, to show him that he has the cojones, right? It's just this, this macho nonsense that he just pulls out of thin air just so he can humiliate this character. It's just really horrible. It is really horrible. And that's what I like about this film is it holds up a mirror to misogyny. I don't think that it promotes misogyny in any way. Every time that I've seen this film, it has made me sick to my stomach and I think that that's, that's the goal of this movie, that's what it's aiming for. And it's all done through just conversation. There is no action scenes in this film, there are no fight scenes, no special effects. This, this is the kind of independent cinema that we used to get. We used to get really interesting, thought-provoking, independent films and they're really hard to come by these days, I find. And I think that's got to do with the fact that there's not enough money being pumped into independent cinema like they used to be. They don't set, tend to get the kind of publicity. I thought all the performances in this film were excellent, but especially Aaron Eckhart as Chad. He is uh, he steals this whole film. His character is like the icon of this movie because he is just such a horrible, insensitive, cruel character. Uh, I, I believe wholeheartedly there are people this cruel, there are people out there that get pleasure from other people's suffering, right? And it's, it's, hard, it's, it's hard to imagine, right? As a, as a person, I, I, I look to feel empathy for, with another person. I try my best to I, I imagine what it's like to be in their shoes, regardless of their background, regardless of their sex. I try to imagine what it's like to be in their shoes and um, and whenever I make mistakes where I've upset someone because I've done something really dumb, I've said something really dumb and I, I say dumb stuff all the time, right? I suffer from what we call in Glasgow verbal diarrhea, right? I, I do make mistakes and, I, and I'm immensely sorry for that. And that's the thing is that if I don't get a chance to really smooth things over, start a new clean slate with this person, then it just it just breaks my heart. It just it just honestly it just eats me up inside. And uh, but this character Chad, he gets a thrill out of it. He's purposefully being cruel to people, both sexes, men and women. This is this is his thing. Whenever this character Chad has caused this much pain to someone. He wants to know what they feel. He has a he has a keen interest in saying, "Oh, how do you feel now?" After after the particular scene where he has the guy show off his genitalia to him, right? Where he humiliates him in the office. They are they are, they are in private when this happens. They are both alone when this happens. He asks them, "How do you feel? How do you feel?" He wants to know. He's such a sadist that he wants to know how humiliated you are, right? That's the kind of person that Chad is. And I firmly believe there are people out there that really got off on other people's suffering. But yeah, In the Company of Men is a terrific movie. Not one I would recommend for Valentine's Day. Watch Casablanca, watch Brief Encounter, watch those films. Watch Lady and the Tramp. Lady and the Tramp, that, oh, that, that's perfect for Valentine's Day. This is the night, what a beautiful night, and they call it Bella Notte.